All You're right. tuned into the Animal Innovations Show. This is Chisholm Weaver. Uh, I am the director at Blue Standard and the Better Bone. Today's Animal Innovation Show is brought to you by. Awesome introduction, Chisholm. Thank you so much for coming on. So tell us more about who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. We developed the Better Bone actually uh, as a kind of side process to the pandemic. Blue Standard was based uh, with some of our partners back in Germany who have about 25 years of sustainable manufacturing um, experience. And uh, during the pandemic, uh, our main business was B2B sales, point of sale services with recycled uh, materials and sustainable materials. So, so a lot of innovation done with really large retail brands. Uh, unfortunately, during the pandemic, no one's buying any of that stuff. So we were having some discussions, you know, kind of regarding like, hey, what can we kind of pivot to? Where is the market going? And this is coming from a bunch of B2B guys. So maybe we have an idea, maybe we don't. We think we're smarter than we are. Uh, that, that, that typically, uh, you know, don't ask my fiance about that, but right, um, right. <laughs> we have this material um, that happens to be completely uh, all natural, non-splintering. It has all these amazing qualities and we are, we're actually making um, hangers and mannequins out of it. Um, and it's, we take the recycled, it's actually the wood waste fiber from PEFC, sustainably forested wood mills, where they're making other various products. Well, they have all this waste and wood chips and it ends up just being fibrous. Um, and we mix that with sugarcane oil. And effectively we created a injection moldable wood product uh, that we can actually control the, the percentage of wood in the bone. Um, we, we happen to make a bone with it because we realized that, hey, it's non-splintering, it's hypoallergenic, it's all natural, it's too easy to understand ingredients. So we made a mold, we made some bones, we started giving them out, trying to see what they, you know, how people like them, um, how, how, you know, dogs reacted to them. Obviously you're not gonna win every single dog, especially since ours don't actually have any inherent flavor that's added yet. We do have a patent pending process where we are going to be flavoring the bones. So we're, we're excited to get those going. We'll be, we'll be launching that shortly. So the bones are hundred percent sustainable. Uh, you know, it's the PEFC wood fiber and then sustainable, uh, sugar cane oil, renewable sugar cane oil rather. And then, um, yeah, the packaging is all 100% FSC recycled uh, packaging with renewable ink. So we really tried to, you know, embrace all of that. And we can do it at a, at a reasonable cost. You know, we, we really are trying to not be some reach for the, for the, uh, for the customer where they're going to have to spend so much more money to try and get their animal a better product and, you know, try and be more sustainable in their everyday lives. We just wanted to be approachable in that manner. So I feel like you're at the beginning of your journey and yet you're already along on your journey a few years into it. So what have you learned about yourself in this process? Creating something tangible is extremely gratifying. Just the accomplishment of taking something from a design. It's its like my, my dad is a general contractor and an architect. So, you know, from blueprints to a, to a house, like there's something gratifying about that. And it's very easy to kind of lose sight of all the achievements that, that we all have from day to day, just because we're all just tapping on a keyboard and there's no real tangible results you know you get a it's like it's almost like playing a video game like we're all a little bit conditioned where you get you get the pop-up and, and all the all the fun colors and, and explosions on the screen like you did something but there's no tangible end to it you know it's like i can't hold but i can hold this and so it, it's it's been interesting to um the, the, to realize like i guess uh you know that creating something is is very important creating tangible things and then also with that creating change so if, if people want to get the better bone and eventually leashes and all that where can they go where do these things sold yeah right now the betterbone.com it's the betterbone.com um 
Interestingly enough, betterbones.com is an osteoporosis website. So that's, that's funny. Surprising. Uh, <laughs> so the you know, betterbone.com. Yeah. The betterbone.com singular. Well, it sounds like you guys have got big plans and I love everything that you're doing and just sustainability at its core. And, and certainly I love what you're doing for the animals, right? Non-toxic and, and cleaning up the planet at the same time. So we'll remind our viewers and listeners, the betterbone.com and as I wrap up the show here, I always remind people that if they've got a great idea like you did for something that's going to make a big difference in the lives of animals or the people that love them, we want to know about it and have you on the show just like we did Chisholm. So go to innovations.show and fill out the form and we'd love to talk to you. So thank you again for coming on today. I really enjoyed it and really excited to see where you guys are going to go. Absolutely. Thanks again, Chris. I appreciate it.